Your doctor has recommended that you undergo a breast biopsy procedure, or lumpectomy. In your case, you have a lump in your breast which is too small to be felt by touch. Your radiologist detected this abnormality while reviewing your recent mammogram or breast x-ray. Let's take a moment to look at the reasons why lumps form in breast tissue. The breast is made of layers of skin, fat, and breast tissue, all of which overlay the pectoralis muscle. Breast tissue itself is made up of a network of tiny milk-carrying ducts, and there are three ways in which a lump can form among them. Most women experience periodic changes to their breasts. Cysts are some of the most common kinds of tissues that can grow large enough to be felt and to cause tenderness. Cysts often grow and then shrink without any medical intervention. A second kind of lump is caused by changes in breast tissue triggered by the growth of a cyst. Even after the cyst itself has gone away, it can leave fibrous tissue behind. This scar tissue can often be large enough to be felt. The third kind of growth is a tumor. Tumors can be either benign or cancerous, and it is concern about this type of growth that has led your doctor to recommend breast biopsy. On the day of your operation, you'll be asked to put on a surgical gown. You may receive a sedative by mouth and an intravenous line may be put in. Because the lump in your breast can only be detected through radiography, your surgeon will require assistance in locating the area in question. Before surgery, you'll be taken to a radiology lab. There, the radiologist will inject a small amount of anesthetic in order to numb your breast. Then using your last mammogram as a guide, the radiologist will insert a thin wire into your breast, moving the end of it towards the area of abnormality. This wire will serve as a pointer for the surgeon during your operation. The radiologist will perform another mammogram in order to verify that the wire has been placed correctly. It is possible that the wire will have to be moved or repositioned and a mammogram taken once again. You will then be transferred to the operating table. Your doctor will scrub thoroughly and will apply an antiseptic solution to the skin around the area where the incision will be made. Then the doctor will place a sterile drape or towels around the operative site and will inject a local anesthetic. This will sting a bit, but your breasts will quickly begin to feel numb. Usually the surgeon will inject more than one spot in order to make sure that the entire area is thoroughly numb. After allowing a few minutes for the anesthetic to take effect, the surgeon will make a small incision. Once the incision has been made, your doctor will begin cutting along the wire, moving towards the abnormality located at the end. You will feel some tugging and pulling, but you should not feel any sharp pain. If you do, please tell the doctor and you will be given more anesthetic. Once the specimen is removed, the doctor may have it x-rayed in order to determine whether or not the correct tissue has been removed. Very rarely, the doctor may decide, based on this x-ray, to remove additional tissue. Your doctor and nurse will remove the guide wire and close the skin over the incision as neatly and as cosmetically as they are able. Finally, a sterile dressing is applied. Your specimen will be sent immediately to a lab for microscopic analysis. Your doctor will tell you when to expect results from those tests.